I was very young when I visited the Grand Canyon for my very first time on a family vacation, and it was an extraordinary experience for me. I loved it. There I was looking at the what they call the monuments of the Grand Canyon, and at the time, nobody really paid attention to the names of the uh, features of the Grand Canyon. Um, it, I'm 51 years old now, and it wasn't until I started investigating what I felt was needed to be investigated in the Grand Canyon concerning the Egyptian artifact find down in the underground dwellings, citadels, that had the Asian artifacts. They had hieroglyphics. They had, uh, they had things that were taken by the Smithsonian Institute in the year uh, 1907 and 1909. 1909 is when the Phoenix Gazette came out with their article chronicling uh, G.E. Kincaid, who was sent from the Smithsonian Institute to uh, do an archaeological investigation there. And that's when it was discovered that Egyptian artifacts, indeed, were there. But no news from then on. And people talk about that experience. Uh, and it's wrapped in myth. Very difficult to understand it unless you're connected with the Hopi Indian tribe and other Indian tribes that would tell you otherwise what that canyon really is. And I think that uh, I pretty much discovered just through an intellectual survey of what it might be. And then a uh, little over a year ago, here at the University of Arizona Library, I decided to pull out one of the topographical maps of Grand Canyon to see if the stars of Orion would match up with any of the uh, pinnacles, the highest peaks, the altitude peaks mm -hmm. of this topographical map. Sure enough, it did take about 20 minutes to size that star chart, which I created a transparency out of in Photoshop. And, uh, and I got the alignment, what seems to really fit are the major stars that are not the belt stars that we find in the Giza Plateau with the three great pyramids. They happen to be uh, the shoulder stars, uh, Betelgeuse and Bellatrix, and then the kneecap stars, I think you would call that the hunter constellation of Orion. That is Orion, South, and Rigel. And then Mintaka would be one of the stars of the belt system. And those were the major ones. They lined up with Isis Temple. They lined up with, uh, Isis Temple is, Rigel matches up with Sumner Butte. Bellatrix matches up with Isis Temple. Betelgeuse matches up with Tower of Set. And, uh, South line up with O'Neill Butte, where the natural arch is. And it's quite possible that reorienting this, I might get other matches, but these are the ones that turned out to be the closest. Mm -hmm.